Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this text. First open a new document, now either press the letter T for the type tool or select it from the toolbar panel and click on the artboard. Let's change the font to Times New Roman bold and increase its size. Click on the artboard and type your text. Select your text and then open the Align window. If you don't see it, go to Window and select Align. Make sure Align to Artboard is checked and choose Horizontal and Vertical Align Center. Next, we'll convert it into shapes. With the text still selected, right-click with your mouse and choose Create Outlines. Right-click again and choose Ungroup. This will allow you to move the letters independently. Now we will cut all the shapes in several places to get this effect. Select the first letter and then select the knife tool. It is hidden under the eraser tool. Press and hold down the Alt key and then click, hold and drag across to make a cut. While you are dragging your mouse, press and hold down the Shift key as well to get a straight line. Now release your mouse and then release the keys. Let's make one more cut down below and do the same with the other letters. I'm going to change the fill of the cut pieces to yellow so you can better see them. In the next step we'll fill the yellow shapes with text. To do that First select the yellow shape of the letter M, then click on the Type tool, hold and select the Area Type tool. Now click anywhere on the path. Before you start typing your text, make sure to decrease the font size to about 18 points. Now type anything you like. Let's zoom in. Select the text and let's make a few adjustments. Open the Paragraph panel. If you can see it, go to Window, Type and choose Paragraph. Now select Justify All Lines. Next, open the Character panel and you can change the reading as well. Play with all the settings and see what works best for you. And let's do the same with the other letters. If you would like, you could cut the letter shape a little bit more to create an extra gap. Select the knife tool and make a cut like we did before. Now select the cut piece and delete it. And let's cut the bottom part as well. Now select everything and let's change the fill to pink. Next we'll create cut out hearts. To do that, first draw a heart. If you would like to learn how to draw a heart, please check out my other tutorial. I include a link to it at the end of this video. Let's resize it and change its fill. Next place it on top and duplicate it. Now select both hearts, go to Object, Blend, Blend Options, change the spacing to specified steps and type 4. Then go to Object again, Blend and choose Make. Go to Object one more time and choose Expand. Now select the hearts and the pink shape. Then go to Pathfinder and choose Minus Front. Finally, we will add a few more effects. Select the top of first M, the bottom of O and the top of the second M. And let's add a white stroke to them. Now select the bottom part of M, top of O and bottom of the other M. Swap the fill and the stroke and change the fill to white. Now select all the pink and white shapes. Then go to Effect, Stylize and choose Drop Shadow. 
Now adjust the mode, opacity and the offset. Try to experiment with different fonts, colors and have fun. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.